What if you could effortlessly connect your Lava backend with your favorite frontend framework like Reactor View? Laravel is known for its elegant routing, expressive syntax, and yeah, a lot of extensive built-in features like queues, event broadcasting, seamless integration with databases, and much more. And this makes it a top choice for backend development. On the other hand, we have frontend frameworks like React and Vue that excel at creating beautiful, responsive, and fast user interfaces that also enhance the user experience. However, there has always been a challenge in connecting these two worlds together. Developers often found themselves dealing with separate applications or really complex setups, and this led to a frustrating developer experience. Inertia Chess, on the other hand, solves this problem by bridging the gap between, got it, server and client-side development. Inertia Chess allows you to leverage level strength while seamlessly integrating with your front-end framework of choice. So this powerful combination creates a unified developer experience, simplifying workflows and delivering an exceptional developer experience. To get started with Inertia, we recommend you checking out the Inertia website and specifically the docs here because there's quite a few things for you to learn about this tool. And we also have some settings here for setting up your backend side to level. Here you can find a few things here but also on the client side. So you will find everything to connect your two worlds here together. But what we recommend is starting a new application with the Laravel installer. So we're going to give our application a name, elements in this case, and then we can pick one of our starter kits. And we have React and Vue. These are the two ones which are supported through Inertia. So that's what we're interested in. And then we also have Livewire. In this case, we are going with React and now we're starting with the blank one here. And let's use PEST and Level Boost as well here. Now everything gets set up here. And after the installation process, you can go to your page and you will already be created here by the Level 12 welcome screen. But under the hood, there are already a few things that were set up for you in order to make React and Level work together nicely through inertia. So here on the web routes file, you can already see that um, instead of just returning a few a blade file, which we normally do in Laravel, we're now returning a component, a React component in this case, through inertia here. And when we take a look at what else we already have in there, let's go to resources view. We have a main app.blade file. That's the only blade file which you are going to need in your inertia file here. And here we set up a few things like for V to load all of our resources, to refresh React on local applications. And here, most importantly, we have this inertia directive where all your components are being added in. Then also quite interesting, when using inertia, you are working with a middleware which is called handle inertia requests. And inside here, what we're basically doing here, we have a version method to make sure that we track the right version of your assets which you're currently using. And then we also have a share method in order to share some specific data. And then of course, also in this case on the React side, we have here an app file for React where we're creating a new Inertia install where we provide all the setup, which you can also read up in the official documentation of Inertia, what we are doing here. So we're not going into detail here. But yeah, the main difference now is here that we are not using a full page reload because we're using React in this case. And that's why we're using React view because we want our single page application here and we want it to be fast and snappy. And this is what we can do here. So let's bring in here some new routes for a little demo that I have prepared. And we also need to provide here some files. And let's paste them in here too. So we have a few pages here, which we now have added here. All right, I think we should be good here. So let's check out our new demo page here. And yeah, this is what we've just created. And something that I just wanted to show you here now quickly, if we go to the network tab here, and let's filter here for document. So if I refresh this page, we can see this demo page here where we get the full document here with every reload. But if we now make another request, let's say to this water page here, we don't see another request here because this is now an Ajax request, which we can see here. And let's make this a little bigger. So here we are telling React now which component we are using. And we also send some data with here, like we can also send if the user is currently authenticated or not. And we also see here the version of our assets and so on. 
But the main point here is now we have full Patreon loads at the beginning where we need it on the initial loads, but for everything else, we have our fast HX request here for switching those sites, which is yeah super snappy and super nice to use from a user perspective. But to give you a real head start, please consider using one of our starter kits with authentication built in. Both the React and the Vue starter kits provide you with a powerful foundation that includes authentication, password reset functionality, two-factor authentication, pre-built component, and much more. With these features, you can jump right into developing your next idea without the hassle of setting everything up yourself from scratch. Inertia.js allows you to maintain the robustness of a Laravel backend while giving you the flexibility to choose your front-end framework of choice. With features like server-side rendering, shared data, and yeah, super routing, you can build applications that are not only powerful, but also developer and user-friendly. Please explore the official documentations to learn more about Inertia.js and how it can enhance your development process, and please create exceptional web applications.